Hey guys, welcome back to my video and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, hey, my name is Syria and we're back with another video. As you guys read by the title, we're gonna be doing my vanilla scented shower routine. I'm just gonna give you guys some tips and tricks on how to stay fresh and clean. So if you're into that, stay tuned for this video and let's just get straight into it. Now that we got like the introductory part out the way and you know, we kept it all professional and gave you guys kind of an invitation on what you're going to be expecting, we can just get straight into it. I'm just gonna be trying to remember off the top of my head because it's been a couple of weeks since I've last filmed the video. As you guys can see, I got stuff in my hand. I got props and everything so I can explain and show you guys that. And I'm gonna call this a pamper routine because nobody really has the time to do the shower routine every single night. Like, nah, this is probably something that you'll do like once a week. But the first thing that I do when I get in the shower, basically, I like to start off with the simple body suit. I just remember that I forgot one thing. Let me get up and get that. So the first thing I like to do when I get in the shower is I like to go in with a bar soap. I count this as like my first cleansing wash because I wash my body for like a total of like four to five times. Let's consider them like cycles. I do like four to five washes, okay? Um, and that doesn't like count. Dang, every time I sit down, I keep seeing something else that I gotta get. Okay, I feel like it's good even though I have my shaving routine incorporated in this shower routine. I like to start cleansing my body first because you want to get all of like the sweat and moisture off of your body first before you go in with the shave because you really want to kind of get as much hair off your skin as possible and you don't want the moisture or the oils getting like stuck to the razor which is kind of going to lessen the effectiveness of how the razor is going to perform does that make sense I don't, i'm not trying to sound all scientific or anything but it it makes sense this is the bar soap that i use i didn't yet have the vanilla scented bar soap by dove but layering is going to be very important in your pampering routine if you want to get the best smell out of your shower routine layering is going to be your best method so what you want to do is you want to make sure all your like scents and everything is compatible since we're doing vanilla and i didn't have a vanilla bar soap i actually ended up finding it at a later time but i didn't have it at the moment i used the shea butter and brown sugar because it's more of warm scented anything with a warm scent whenever you're doing like a vanilla shower routine it's going to complement the other scents well and it's all going to balance out it'll make sense and then i go in with a rag like this this texture i feel like this texture just works best on my skin i like my cloths to be like a little bit rough not too rough to where it's like making your skin turn red or anything like that but you do want a nice like scrub so i start by getting in a shower wetting my body i'm getting the rag wet then i'm putting the soap on the rag lathering it in and then i wash over my body and that's the first step so you're gonna get your neck and you're gonna wash to top to bottom all the way down to your feet and then that's gonna be your first wash. What I wanna recommend, especially for people that are like, for mainly anybody, but for people with like thicker, coarse hair, so people that are like, you know, my brown skin people, I definitely would recommend using the Tree Hut Tahitian. Well, it doesn't have to be the scent, but the shaving oil that they have, the shaving oil made by this company, top tier, especially for people that's like, our skin is like very sensitive. That's what I should say. If your skin is very sensitive, use some shaving oil. Shaving oil just helps the shaving process make it 10 times easier. I just really like this. And, and since we were gonna do the like vanilla scent, this just worked out perfect. But of course I was gonna choose that. They do have other ones, but I feel like this one is one of the best. They have it in the regular vanilla one, but this is vanilla bean. For my shaving products, I use this shaving oil. I also use the Venus. I think this is Venus Gillette pubic hair razor for like my downstairs area you gotta use a razor that has at least four to five blades the more blades the better it just makes it easier and with the shaving oil and a great razor let me just say invest in a good razor if you do end up going in with like a two blade razor um just you know for like a closer shave and like more like areas that you can't really reach with the five blade and that's more understandable but on the surface area you don't want to use it always want to shave in the direction that the hair grows in you're actually getting the hair out but if you're going in the opposite direction that the hair grows in now your hair is going to be growing all over the place and that's just not good it's not good at all it took me a while to figure out what razor work best for me but i finally figured it out and i finally found it oh so, yeah definitely do the research everybody's skin type is different so figure out what your body needs and your skin type needs 
and that's how you're gonna select your razors that's one of the razors that i recommend so one of the first things you want to do before you do go and shave and something that we all have learned in the past couple years you should be exfoliating before you shave you want to remove the dead skin cells that's on your skin before you shave i should have mentioned that before i'm sorry let's just rewind before you shave the first thing that you should be doing is exfoliating and i hope that i did that in my video i'm pretty sure i did i just like i said i'm going off the top of my head so that's what i'm seeing so when you exfoliate this is where the products are starting to come in or exfoliate i'm not talking about like a scrub when i say exfoliating and during my wash cycle the first time what i did is i went in on my legs you can either take the bar soap which is most likely what i would do just take the bar soap because i use body wash like afterwards but you can take the bar soap and you get you some exfoliating gloves. This is the correct way to exfoliate. I don't feel as though the exfoliating products that we have, whether it's your body prescription, Tree Hut, or Dr. Till's body scrub, I don't really feel like those are good for exfoliating on your skin. What you wanna do is get you some good exfoliating gloves. You can get a pair for like $1. Um, or you can get multiple packs at TJ Maxx and Marshalls for like $3 for six pairs. But exfoliating gloves are going to be your best friend when it comes to exfoliating. You should be exfoliating before you shave because that's how you're going to get the best. You want to remove those dead skin cells, the oil, whatever you is have caked up on your skin before you're shaving. And that's also going to be a good method to prevent razor bumps and razor burns. Moving into the next thing. Still on the topic of shaving. Um, and I'm going to recommend another product for you guys. It's another shaving product that I feel like more people need to be put onto this product because this product works good the other one that i like to use is this intuition shaving i use this on my leg the thing i like about this one is that it comes with like this soap thing around the razor head you put it on it has aloe in it it says no need for shave gel but i still use shaving gel anyway because i mean i feel like the more the better you just basically like go just add water and shave that's what it says i ain't even going to explain it to you guys i'm not going to say no much more i'm not going to over complicate it just add water and shave but that's why i feel like it's it's really good for your legs i use it on my legs i don't use it anywhere else on my body this is another razor that i recommend so if you guys want to try that out for like your legs and stuff because obviously i can't see you really using this anywhere maybe your underwarms but this is more of like a razor i would say for your legs what is the next thing that we do so now i'm just going to recommend you guys a body scrub that i do like to use and this is the body prescription fall vibes vanilla almond body scrub it smooths and softens this is my top tier body scrub that i have on hand and on deck right now i have tried tree hut tree hut ones i don't really like them that much unpopular opinion i don't really like tree hut scrubs that much but i keep trying to give it a chance for whatever reason now this one this is like an exfoliator but it also moisturizes your skin like nothing else i mean if i could just like get out the shower and leave that one as my lotion i would because it does the job not only is it exfoliating but i and then also the smell the smell is what gets me and this is what it looks like it kind of looks like lotion from here but i promise you guys it's more of like a how would i just like describe it i want to say like a sandy texture but it do kind of feel like sand it's really really soft that's what it feels like sand yep and then when you rub it on your body it exfoliates like gently so for people with sensitive skin i feel like it's perfect i feel like this is one of the key products in my shower routine that makes the smell just like all come together i don't recommend you try that they have this one they have other ones but i definitely recommend getting them at marshall's or tj maxx because it's cheaper at marshall's i got it for 5.99 which is six dollars compared to amazon they have one there for ten dollars but they have other scents and fragrances if you want to try it out i don't know be my guess next thing we're kind of getting towards like the end of the shower routine the last thing that i like to do and i uh sometimes will do this with like my exfoliating grips because like i said it leaves a longer lasting scent so on my pamper days i really be exfoliating a lot this dove shea butter and vanilla scent and, and for weeks i couldn't find the bar soaps they had the bar soaps in that eight pack but i'm only one person i don't need all that so i finally found the bar soaps in a two pack but this is one of the last steps in my body second to last i would say in my body routine my shower 
It's the second to last step in my shower routine. All good things, all good things is all I can say. It smells so good. So if I'm gonna recommend, if you wanna try out a vanilla scented routine, I'd recommend getting this one. I put some of this body wash on my exfoliating gloves and I go in and I just massage it around my body. Get a really deep cleanse because that's what I feel like these do. They give you like a really deep cleanse. One of the last things that I like to do, and I have a couple of products to try, so I'm just gonna show you guys all of those. As far as like my feminine health and downstairs area, how we keep that clean and how like we really get into that. We have a couple of options as far as like taking care of our feminine health. And I'm gonna just show you guys some of the products that I use as far as like a feminine wash. I don't. Okay, well I use like maybe one feminine wash by Honeypot. It's the only one that I really use and the only one I trust. And I get the sensitive one. I use this Honeypot sensitive feminine wash for the downstairs area. This keeps me pretty fresh. Like it has lavender, calendu, I don't know how to pronounce that, but vinegar, you guys can look it up. So for a second alternative, I don't know if y'all know this, but you can actually use a gentle facial cleanser for your downstairs area. For one, it's unscented. For two, it's gentle. And for three, think about it this way. You use it on your skin, right? Like your facial, you use it on your face. So your face is sensitive. You can also use that same product for your downstairs area, which is sensitive. Long as it's unfragranced and long as it's unscented. For me, I'll be just using whatever I have on hand. So Vanna Cream, I use this on my skin. A lot of people always ask me like, what do you do for your skincare routine? We can make that a whole separate video. We can make that a whole separate video. I just use like a gentle facial cleanser. That's a second alternative. And then third, this I think has a very, very light fragrance, but it's also gentle. It has no parabens, sulfates, dyes, hyperallergenic. That's another key thing to look for to make sure that it's gentle. Yeah, you can use some, you know, baby wash and stuff for your feminine hygiene and downstairs area. That's really gonna take care of you. Trust me, trust me. And then I had one more thing because I almost forgot. You also must be washing your feet, but there are certain ways that you wanna take care of your feet. You wanna make sure that you're scrubbing in between your toes. Don't be forgetting in between your toes. That's super important. Make sure that you're scrubbing in between your toes and washing the bottoms of your feet, wash the top part. Leave nothing out, leave nothing behind, trust me. And then like, also I feel like, I don't really have smelly feet, I don't. But I definitely feel like for people who might have smelly feet, you really want to be cautious and you really wanna make sure that you're using the right types of products. When you're going in, as far as like lotioning, go with like an unscented lotion. If you're gonna be wearing socks and you know that your feet sweat, maybe go without, I don't know. But I also have one thing that I do use in the shower for my feet. I think I use this one for like my nails or something, but so don't mind why it's dirty, but I'm just trying to show you guys an example. It looks like this, you get a brush like this and this is gonna help you scrub like your nails and under your nails. You wanna be making sure that stuff is just as important in taking care of your shower routine. Make sure you're scrubbing up under your nails because stuff gets in there as well. That's equally important in your shower routine as anything else that we have talked about so far. All right, so I think that makes us kind of bring full circle around. We should be at the shower by now. We should now be getting ready to do, you know, the last parts of the hygiene routine. Moisturizing your body is just as important. And then I'm gonna be talking to you guys about a couple of fragrances that I like to use. Taking care of my body after shaving and rate also let me let me rephrase that as far as taking care of my body after shaving and then also protecting myself against razor bumps and razor burns this product i discovered this pfb vanish is it vanish pfb or pfb vanish i'm not sure pfb vanish is chroma bright it's a skin brightening ingrown hair relief waxing razor bumps cool bluey roll on and it's for men and women second thing that i like to do i don't like walking around after I take a shower, I don't like walking on the floor with bare feet. That's an absolute no for me. I'm gonna talk about some foot health. I use a foot cream and then I also have this CeraVe healing ointment. So for, for foot cream, you can use anything. Use an unscented fragrance-free lotion. One of the things that I use is this O'Keeffe's Healthy Feet Foot Cream. What it does is it helps repair and relieves cracked feet. My feet ain't cracked 
but it can be sometimes like a little bit dry and you want to take care of your feet you know what i'm saying you want to take care of your feet so go in with this right moisturize your feet with this and then as far as like healing ointment this ointment any type of like petroleum joan but this is what i have on my hand i have vaseline as well but this is a good you know brand i pay for it's kind of expensive so i'm gonna get my money's worth out of this but the cerave healing ointment this is like a skin protectant any type of petroleum jelly is going to help lock in and seal that moisture and then get you some of those fuzzy cozy socks and slip them on your feet and that's going to help seal your moisture you're going to wake up the next day and your feet going to feel like a baby's skin the next thing that i like to do this is my favorite lotion this smells so good it makes me smell it makes it just smells edible that's what it smells like to me if i could eat this i would eos it's shea butter it's 24 hour moisture body lotion i got this one from target they have other scents but i'm kind of trying to get through like my hygiene products that i have now before i go out and purchase other stuff whatever smells like vanilla in this hygiene routine you want to pair them together make sure the scents are as close as possible reverting back to what i was saying early just layering making sure they all smell like vanilla it's all going to come together and create this immaculate scent that's the lotion that i like to use for the deodorant i don't have any vanilla type of deodorant but i always prefer for my deodorant to be very not strong scented but i love a powdery smell so i just use this good old dove powder um deodorant it's very simple they do have vanilla scented um deodorants not much of a selection like they have some by secret but i'm gonna just stick to my good old powder i don't feel like this is going to throw off my scent too much um and at least i know that this is effective and proven to work for me um i just like my my orange paste to smell like powder i don't know we're always to the end on this hygiene routine we are getting into our fragrances so the first fragrance that i want to put in here is this jones new york signature rare vanilla blossom it smells just like vanilla i love this so much that i actually used it all but this is like the first scent i get this from like marshall's it's 12.99 this is my second bottle i'm going back for a third of course this scent just does me right every single time then i also just got like this cheap hair and body mist perfume because i like to smell good from head to toe so of course i wanted like a hair perfume for a while i went to target one day and i found this perfume by mix bar it's a vanilla bourbon hair and body mist perfume funny thing at first when i first smelled this perfume i didn't really like it at first but the more i kept wearing it i felt like and with the chemistry that i have it kind of all just came together and it paired like so well so i spray this in my hair but it's also a body mist so i spray this all over my body too and as you guys can see i like this as well that's why it's almost gone the last thing the last thing that i have i've recently just made this purchase off amazon so i haven't had it that while i haven't what are you talking about i haven't had it that long this is the vanilla bean it's a fragrance oil finally focused and this is what it looks like um i got this off at amazon i can't remember what the price was i don't even know where my phone is okay it's about ten dollars on amazon this is what it looks like i'm gonna just put that on the screen so you guys can see it i like how this smells too yeah it smells just like vanilla it paired well for my shower routine and that is the last thing that we use in our shower routine I would go into like the ends of out of how to smell fresh every day but I, you know what i think i'm gonna make this like a little series and have that into like a two like another part of the video but like part of the series or whatever that is pretty much everything that's like my shower routine that's how i smell like vanilla all day and that's how i smell good but i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope you guys were able to learn some type of tips for me i've been promising this video for so long i'm just happy that i actually made the decision today and possibly to just get up and film it felt good to come on camera and talk to you guys and i just really hope that you guys you know enjoyed watching this video i'm gonna go ahead and close this video out and say that that's enough said give me a thumbs up comment let me know if you have any products that you recommend for me subscribe if you want to see more content like this and i will see you guys in the next video bye